Hello, Cyril White, Country Spirit CrossFit Fitness, and it is Thursday, January 26, 2017. Uh, here's the workout we did today. Rowing, push presses, some heavy push presses. I used 135, uh, and I got four plus three rounds on the uh, wad also did uh, 100 sit-ups, 100 burpees, 115 burpees, 200 dips, and uh, 100 push-ups as part of the Jesse Eisler uh, challenge. Um, a couple things I've been thinking about. Uh, one, it, it never ceases to amaze me the range of people that our program uh, attracts. And uh, that is people from young to old to great athletes to not so great athletes. Uh, we have one couple, uh, the wife, uh, they're both a middle age, uh, 30s, late 30s, early 40s. Uh, the wife uh, loves to work out her whole life. Husband never worked out a day in his life. Uh, before he came here and uh, they both get a great workout and they both have a great time and it's just amazing to me that that uh, is is true also um, some things sometimes the the workouts uh, they can they can get intense and, and some people like that some people get flustered and uh, it really comes down to uh, really not only building physical but but mental toughness and not getting flustered and uh, you know, saying, you know, I got this, I'm gonna get through this, it's not gonna kill me, um, and just getting through it. Some people get, not a lot, thankfully, but every once in a while, um, someone just can't handle uh, the um, trying to learn something and, that they don't know, and, and they get frustrated because they don't know it right away, and there's no reason they should know it right away. They just started. Uh, most of our athletes uh, aren't athletes when they come to us, and uh, they just started, there's no reason they should know the movements, and we teach them the movements and we go through them, but when they get to the workout, they get frustrated uh, when uh, they think they're not as good as anyone, and no one is judging them at all. No one cares. Uh, I mean, they care about them, but they're not judging them because they're new and they don't know how to do something. Uh, that doesn't happen at all, so uh, that, that's challenging. The other thing that I've been thinking about is uh, bullying. There's so much out there right now on bullying. Um, I guess you could say I was bullied as a kid growing up. I got in fights all the time because of my name. Everyone constantly made fun of my name, uh, and I hated that. I was always a little different, um, and um, I was also a bully. I'll admit it. Uh, I didn't like being bullied, so I said, you know what? I'm going to be a bully, so I won't be bullied. Um, that's not right either. And uh, our, our oldest daughter uh, went through significant, terrible bullying in high school. And I just see and hear more and more and more about it all the time. And I do know that uh, the, the kids that come to us that do our program, uh, they're not all um, athletes, confidence, but uh, their parents tell us that once they do our program, they gain a significant amount of confidence. And I'm going to tell you that uh, confidence is everything in life and bullies can smell a lack of confidence and if you're confident and you know you're still going to get bullied bullies are going to bullies are not going to go away I, I hate to tell you bullies are not going to go away they're always going to be there unfortunately it's part of life and if you can deal with it learn how to deal with it learn that it's not permanent and um, the uh, if you have confidence in yourself you know that the bully's just full of crap and whatever they are bullying you about doesn't matter. And I know that's hard, it's easier said than done, but um, I know that kids going through our program and through similar programs, even if they're not athletes, a lot of them don't have team sports or anything to fall back on, which is great for confidence and, and not being bullied. Um, but when they do our program, they feel like they're part of something 
They uh, gain confidence. They do hard things. They overcome difficult things outside their comfort zone. And it gives them confidence and they're less likely to be bullied then or be affected by bullying because bullying is going to happen. It's just unfortunately a fact of life. So um, I'm trying to think about how we can put together a program uh, for kids after school uh, to teach them uh, how to move, to give them confidence, to put them outside their comfort zone, uh, to teach them some mindfulness, nutrition. I believe that nutrition is huge. If you're feeling good because you're putting the right things in your body, you're going to be more confident without doing anything else, and you're just going to feel better. And I think all of that goes into um, helping kids not be bullied and being confident and getting over being bullied. So uh, we're going to try and put together a program. Uh, it's I just thought about this today, so, um, but that would be my goal to have a program that could help be focused and targeted towards kids uh, that could help them uh, not be bullied, gain confidence, and help them later on in life. So uh, we're going to work on that, and uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, I'm grateful for just being able to think about things like this, uh, to have the support of my family and, and friends and all our members and uh, to be able to uh, do what I love and, and for my health. Thanks.